What's up, soulmates? It's me, Doxo. How have you been? I've been well. You don't look so well, though. I think you should get out of your room and see the sun. Oh, that? Don't worry about that. It's just my ex. Nothing to worry about. You want to chat for a bit? Well, I guess I could. You want to know about me? Not so fast, eager beaver. Let's talk about you first. What's a big, strong, kind and thoughtful mouse like you doing in this cramped, inaccessible crawl space? Wouldn't you rather be out there spreading your wings taking on the world. Nice try. <laughs> Fine. You can call me Toxo. Short for Toxoplasma gondii. My ex used to call me a parasite, but I prefer the term opportunistic protozoa. Hey, we have that much in common, you and me both. We're both eukaryotes. Isn't that something? Oh, stop worrying about my ex so much. I've got enough of those. I've been with nearly all warm-blooded animals. I'll tell you a little if you really want to know. But just know I'm totally over them. My ex is a cat. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But trust me, they're not gonna threaten you or anything. We totally, totally had a clean break. And I just thought, you know, maybe it's time I try parasit- I mean, opportunistically cohabitating with other organisms. And I thought, well, the Phyllis Catus thing is so overdone. Let's see what Mus Musculus has to offer. I actually think that you and them could get along really, really well. Oh, what do you mean, cats and mice don't mix? Come on, don't be such a bigot. They're a lot nicer than you think. You'd have a lot to bond over, I'm sure. What do I do for a living? Well, I'm kind of quirky. I'm certainly not like other parasites. I mean, organisms. I do my work in pretty underground, hipstery dives in the body. Like the testes, eyes, and the brain away from those sneaky prying eyes of that prissy immune system. And there, I take real good care of my hosts, increasing dopamine production and testosterone production in male mice. Why do I do it? A protozoa never reveals all their secrets. But that's not stopped those nosy scientists from prying into my private life. But enough about me. Let's talk about you. You know what I love about you? Underneath that cowardly, shivering exterior is a big, strong, brave rodent who I bet knows just how to treat a protist right. You just need a little encouragement, you know? It smells like cat pee and evil out there. Ugh. I mean, is cat pee all that bad smelling? You're a mouse and you like cheese, right? Cheese can get kind of smelly too. I say the stinkier, the better. Don't think of it like a stink. Think of it like an aroma. And 
it's starting to smell better for some reason. Right? Sometimes all it takes is a shift in perspective. And you know what would really shift your perspective? Getting out of this grungy old crawl space. There's a world out there for you to explore. Endless possibility. Infinite potential. All the cheese in the world. You're still afraid? Don't worry. You're not alone. You'll never be alone again. Because I am with you. Just let me take away all of your fears and anxiety and we can tackle anything together no matter what there all better just let your evolutionary desire to shield yourself from harm wash away like patterns in the sand during high tide that's it to the light. Works every time.